What I like about commercial castings is the speed. I, I like the fact that three, four days later, project's done. With commercials and client, there are different things that they're looking for. Obviously, commercials, advertising, you've got a product to sell. We'll get a brief, um, which has already been chopped up from the agency. We'll have their sort of view on it. The director will have his personal, her, pers her personal view on it. So sometimes you get like two set different things. So you have to sort of cast quite uh, creatively. Nine times out of 10, I'll be putting the breakdown out on the Monday. I'll be going through everything on the Tuesday morning. On the Tuesday afternoon, I'll be asking people in for a casting on Wednesday. It's that fast. It won't necessarily always be about skill. It could be about the way you look. It could be, you know, what the trend is, what the zeitgeist is at the moment. I think with commercial castings is to be aware that we are seeing a lot of other people and that I don't think you can ever think that you are not good as an actor if you are not getting those commercial roles because it's got nothing to do with your acting ability nine times out of ten. A lot of the time there's no rhyme or reason to it. I could do a commercial, see 20 people, the five people who get who did the best performance, you know, they might not even get penciled. You know, it's a commercial. It's not a, an Ibsen play, Chekhov play. So they don't. I don't need too many questions about the character. Valid questions are very important, but don't ask questions because you want it to seem like that you're engaged or you're interested. Because it's a commercial. I just need you to get to A to B and pick up the coffee cup and say, I love coffee. We're all aware that most of the time they're pretty crazy and it's all a bit fiery hawk. What you get asked to do. Just don't take it too seriously, go along with it, do a good job, get paid, and then go and take a theatre job for the next six weeks. For commercials, so you do see, you try and see maybe one, a person every 10 minutes, every 15. I mean, 15, you see, you only four, that's for an hour. And if you think about it, the clients are probably only giving you a certain amount of money um, and a certain amount of time. So it's, it's, it's quite a luxury to have 15 minutes. But if it's a group of people, or two or three, I usually have to put, say that's 15 minutes each person. If I've got four people that need casting and then I, um, and I've got a four hour casting, I'll do an hour per person. It's usually two people every 15 minutes or so sometimes it's eight for a role. But then sometimes you can do three hours casting of all one role. So usually you've done it in a studio like here and then sent it over. And then it goes through quite a mill after that. The director will make their choices. That'll go to the agency. The advertising agency will go, mm, or yes, or maybe put in their view as well, put in some people they like. And then they have to go to the first meeting to with the client. And hopefully the client will agree. If they don't, back to the drawing board and we start again. And with advertising, it's pretty tight, actually. It's Commercials about the money. Not only about the money, because um, obviously you can make a, a few thousand pounds, if not more, in a day's work. But also, I think what needs to be remembered is every feature film director has been a commercial director and they've been a music video director. David Fincher, Spike Jones, um, uh, you know, they, they, they've gone on to make, a, what is it, um, you know, Johan Rank. They've all gone on to cast big things. And so, wouldn't poo poo the commercials. I would um, make sure you get on with the director and do a good job.